Hello and Hello. welcome to the show. We are here on Forza 5 with some very early race cars. These are even before Formula 1 was a proper category. I, they were racing these. Yeah, it must have been because Formula 1 was late 40s, wasn't it? I yeah, remember. I I think so, we may be wrong on that, and I'm sure everybody will correct us, but um, yeah, these are <laughs> 1939 race cars. I am driving the Auto Union Type D, while Daniel is driving the Maserati thingy, I've forgotten the thing, 8-something or other. CTF. There we go. That's um, the one. And we're going to go for the a number race. One. You are indeed number one, I'm number four. Um, we're going to go for a two-lap race around the Nürburgring. We are driving the scariest cars on the scariest track imaginable. What could <laughs> possibly go wrong in all of this? I do not know. Bearing in mind, we have had we we normally what we do before one of these we get like get going with a practice thing. Every single one we've binned it. Yeah. So we can't there. do that now. <laughs> no binning of the cars. Right, so we shall set off at one minute fifty and try and not have a big spectacular crash. Oh, we're rolling backwards <laughs> slightly. We're slightly rolling down a hill. Um, ha, 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 ha. Daniel is cheating. Ooh, ooh I'm lots not of cheating. I'm getting. <laughs> I'm, I'm gaining an advantage, not by contact. Okay, I'm not. I'm gaining ooh. advantage <laughs> fairly. Okay, that, that's a fair advantage. Getting a yeah, second and a half head start while I'm rolling down a hill. Um, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> it was just a little bit of lag, so I'm, I'm, I'm slightly wary. I'm slightly wary for many reasons. These cars are absolutely ridiculous. And oh, I'm a little bit out of control there. Thank you, Grass. Whoa. You've done your, you've done your job. You, these cars <laughs> are nuts. My Audi has got 485 horsepower. That's That's a lot. That is a hell of a lot for a car made in 1939 with ancient tires, suspension, brakes, all of the horrible handling characteristics. Characteristics. Car My TV has just turned off. English. TV, come back. Thank you. That's that's the last thing I need. <laughs> is my TV <laughs> buggering TV? up while I'm driving? At least it was on a straight and not car. mid corner. That is that is very very true. And these are horrible corners. These ones. The high speed corners are the worst in these cars because yeah, yes, they're quite pretty good. Yes. These are pretty good cars for what they are, but for the they time, do not yeah, have the grip. Were. They just don't have the grip of a modern cars, but they have the speed of a You're modern car. Up. That's the terrifying I'm thing. I'm gonna break that. Ooh, that was normally a flat that. corner in any other car. Oh, that was flat out. But you have yeah. to have it's insane. I mean, these brakes are pants. Again, good for the time. Compared yeah. to modern, well, compared to things we're used to driving, not so Ooh, much. That's a big slide. The problem with yeah, these cars is they have got modern statistics. For example, 0 to 60 time on my <laughs> car is 3.8 seconds. Like, that, that's faster than a lot of Ferraris. Maybe not Lamborghinis because they're four-wheel drive, but a lot of rear-wheel drive supercars these days struggle to do that kind of time. And this this is using old tyres. That's, that's the challenge that we are up against in trying to fit these cars understeer. around this track. There is understeer, if you're not careful, then there is all of the oversteer. Um, <laughs> when you try to put the power down. They're so unpredictable. They are. These They're are ridiculous cars. I love them for it. I love the challenge of driving these kind of cars. They're awesome in, in that respect. Way. There is a sli slideway. I keep going to say slideways. It's sideways. Slideways. <laughs> it's, 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 it's that's that's a new word. one to the Ferris Dictionary. Yeah, sideways. I'm, I'm pretty sure I've said that many that. a time by accident as my English gives up. Oh, not stopping there. That's a nasty corner. Come on, Audi. <laughs> so how much horsepower has yours got? 480, was it? Four, 485. See, mine has only got a measly 360, which Although is still you, quite a lot for a car that weighs 800, 800 kilos. Less. Yeah. yeah, mine does weigh 800 kilos. <laughs> well, there are thereabouts. Mine is, I haven't changed the unit. I should probably change the units on my Forza, because mine is at 2,800 pounds. Can so you do that? I need I to do that. You, I think you can. Um, my car is Understeer. 800 pounds heavier than the Maserati. So... Power to weight ratio, we're probably not massively different. Um, I don't know. Well, I mean, probably I'm, I'm not, probably actually. No, you're right. I might have slightly better on mine, because I do have almost 100 more horsepower. Oh, there's an overtake. That's a cheeky overtake that I didn't mean to do at all. That was very... That was, I'm very scared, because i got no visibility on my wing mirrors. We're side by side in near priceless race cars. Okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, you've got the drive. 
I have got the power, I have got the drive, I think I might be slightly better on uh, sh the street. Now I've got to lead the way though, I've got to be the experimental one and you can just follow <laughs> me through these. Oh, and this is the corner I absolutely hate, I can never drive this corner well. I always crash here in normal cars, uh, avoid the curbs, don't go on the curbs in these cars, okay? There is a warning to you yeah, all. if you go on the curbs, um, not fun. it's not going to end well. You're going to have a big crash. I don't care Again, how good a driver here, you are. Normally flat out, I don't trust this car at all. Uh, God, it just moves about so much. Oh God, there's a Maserati. I'm breaking through here. Just be a little bit careful if you're going to follow me closely. Because yeah. yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> I will have these to give warnings. I mean, these cars are only built a year. I don't know. Were these cars raced against each other? Because the Mercedes is yes, definitely quicker. I'm fairly sure these two raced against each other. Because I'm pretty sure it was Audi. The Audi or the Auto Union as they were back then and Mercedes raced the Maseratis and Ferraris. I th uh, think, okay. I think that was the, I don't sure I'm not sure if there were any other cars. There may there may have been Alfa Romeos, possibly. Um I don't know if there was anything. Oh crap, that was sorry, a scary I lunge. No idea you were there whatsoever. My um, man. That is that <laughs> is taking quite a large <laughs> lunge. <laughs> the mirrors on my car, unless I am turning a corner show me sky and tree that is the that is what i see in this car there is just no visibility in it uh oh we've got a little bit of lag going on please calm down a little bit of lag <laughs> it's very hard mine to drive too bad. Mine, that was a slow corner yeah mine just show well mine just shows armco and grass so i'm a little bit better <laughs> yours is slightly better uh, point, sort of point slightly more downwards than mine um, I hate this corner. Oh I always get caught out by this God, corner. There, there is there is some lag going on. There is a slightly jumpy Maserati in front of me. Sorry about this or the replay. I don't know what's got into the internet today. It is angry. The internet is angry at us trying to do filming. Always the way. <laughs> it's a hundred percent. It's, it's more so on the Xbox One, isn't it? Um, yeah, also on the Xbox One, we have these sort of lag problems. We have had a few problems with Forza Five doing weird things, and I don't know why. Um, Whoa. Okay. So far, apart this from this is our one of the hardest bump. videos. Oh, woo! <laughs> Whoa, hey. No, Audi, get back <laughs> on the track. <laughs> Bloody hell! Oh, uh, understeer, understeer! Oh, you're going oh rally God. crossing in yeah, a very expensive Jesus race Christ. car. Uh, oh, oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> that was so close. <laughs> that was a little bit scary. I nearly, I nearly. I have a question. Yes. How do people do this for a, in real life? I have no idea. Like, we're messing How about with these cars that are ridiculous to drive on a video game. If we bin this, then, oh well, we'll press restart and you'll press never the see reset, the footage. Yeah. Um, if you crash one of these cars, let's face it, at pretty damn high speeds, there was no seatbelts on these. You crashed it, you're dead. There is no way you're surviving sort of 120, 130 mile an hour crash with one of these. Um, maybe by absolute pure luck, you might, but... <laughs> These are ridiculous cars. Yeah. I, I don't think I'd have the concentration to drive these at Nürburgring. Just the oh slight god, no, slip not up Nürburgring. Uh, flat out in these cars, and you are gone. And we will be gone whoa, on here. Whoa. If we, oh, like that. <laughs> Bloody at Daniel's rally crossing. I kept mine on the oh, track, no. but that was terrifying. Uh, <laughs> these are just insane cars. I love insane cars. They are our favourite kind of car here at Fail Race. But uh, these are probably the top <laughs> of the insane tree, I would imagine. We're about to go on to the very long straight, and then you will see I'm gonna get what left behind in a minute. Auto Union can do. Forza reckons its top speed is 230 miles an hour. I've not tried that, but it wouldn't surprise me. Well, I will me. believe it, though. Yeah, I, I, I would I not can be believe at all that. surprised. Because uh, we're going to get up some speed down here. Oh my god. Bye bye, Maserati. I will yeah, see you see when later. I crash at the end of the straight, okay? <laughs> Just put the fire out as you I've go I've only past. got four speed. I've only got a four speed gear. I've actually got five, okay? That's my excuse. Yeah. I'm up to 170 miles an hour already. See, see this my is top speed is 180. Speed. This is modern day speed in ancient cars. It's ridiculous. I'm at 180. It's faster than modern day speed. Hundred and ninety miles an hour, uh, and I'm breaking because I'm not taking Whoa. them at 190. It's 160. Okay. I've got a wheel on the grass. 160 oh, set. Oh, I'm 170, and I nearly. Let's bring that down a bit through here. Ooh, okay. Uh, <laughs> that's just that was surprisingly placid for me. Uh, okay. Whoa. All right. I don't want to do that too many more times, otherwise my heart may give out. 
Uh, there's a corner here, <laughs> which we can get around, just about. Uh, so our opening lap time is going to be an 8 minute 40. That's not too shabby. 8 minute 44. That is not too that's shabby no, that's, at all. That's quite respectable, actually. Um, yeah, we've smashed the 10 minute mark already. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure that was on a different layout they would have used, so that's a fairly useless comparison. What I don't know what cars do sort of that kind of that type. What was the fastest front wheel drive car went around here fairly recently, wasn't it? Did it in I under thought eight it was the was it the Renault Megane? Uh, the Megane. I thought a Seat beat it very recently, I, like literally two weeks know. or three weeks after. I know the Megane if did a seven fifty nine, which is ridiculous. A Seat, yeah, that's a, that's silly fast for a front wheel drive car. Uh, there could be a Seat that's gone quicker. So I don't know, I don't if, know. I, if, that, if that's pure bollocks, I do apologise. <laughs> um, which most probably Again, it is. But people will correct us in the comments <laughs> if we are <laughs> right or wrong on this one. Um, oh, I don't like this corner. Uh, uh, I'm, driving, okay. I'm trying to drive the wheels off of this car to try and catch you. I just don't think it's going to happen. I, auto, I, the auto union. It's yeah, just, I uh, think the Maserati is a little bit outclassed here. Uh, there is a four PI difference in these two cars. Yeah, I think this one, the one I'm driving, is a 501. Daniel's is a 496. Jesus Christ! Oh, we've got yeah, airtime. Like we've got airtime in a classic oh, race car. Oh my god! Let's not do that one again. God oh, damn! No. I want an, I want Ow. The airborne mode. Daniel's binned it. Ha <laughs> ha! I wasn't the first one to crash. I, <laughs> I, I, considering my dislike for Nurburgring, I will take that. But um, I say, yeah, you, yeah, you hate it. <laughs> I forgot that. Oh no, I have I, to win now. I, uh, I don't. Woo! Oh, this is the scary bit again. I'm, we're just going to stop talking when we go into concentration <laughs> mode. This, this is a really tough one to talk and drive. This is for. easily like, the hardest video we've ever done. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Normally, whenever, whenever we're driving cars, when we're driven on Forza, on Forza Five it's a little bit trickier because we're not driven quite as many hundreds of hours on here as we have on Four. On Forza Four, it's just kind of second nature driving cars on yeah. there. So, sure, when you're trying to commentate, it's a little bit of a distraction. So we'll always be a little bit slower. Uh, and that's why Daniel often goes very quiet when we're racing incredibly close. <laughs> because he goes into concentration mode. Um, but on yeah, Forza we haven't, we haven't driven as much on. And these things require so much bloody concentration to keep on the road. They really do. Uh, I wonder... It, oh, now, this, this would be a... Yeah, I reckon this would be an interesting challenge. How much faster do you reckon we can go with while we're it's like, uh, concentrating, you know, properly concentrating, no talking, just pure driving? I wonder how much faster we can that is go. That's a good question. We may have to test that out at some point. Keep an eye out <laughs> on a, in, a, in a later video. We may try that one out. That actually sounds really interesting. It's going to be a pretty damn boring video because we're not well, going to no, be talking. We'll just but we'll voice over. Well, voice what we'll over, do is yeah. we'll do one live recording and we'll voice over one. And then we'll see. Yeah, okay. We'll, we'll definitely have to give that one out. Look at Daniel coming up with challenges while we're racing. Classic. Oh no, what is this? Classic cars at Nurburgring. See, we can multitask. Uh, I have left you for dead as well. well you are really struggling. I think back I caught there. up a little bit, but not. Yeah, yeah it's not really catch done up. Much. Do that some more. Come um, on. I, I have to be just within vague range when we come to that straight though, and then you can say bye bye. Oh yeah, to and me. then I oh, yeah. To the end. It's not happening. Howdy. Unless I can oh, break inside, or unless I can sort of like. But if I pit, I reckon if I pit or stop, change my brakes over to modern brake discs, I reckon I'll still be able to catch you. <laughs> well, because that's how now, all the brakes are on this. If you stop now, put modern tyres and brakes on, and all the time that took, uh, maybe. These yeah. brakes are so atrocious. The braking is pretty poor. Uh, we've got a little bit of lag going on. Thank God that was in a straight line. That is horrible. <laughs> um, You're having more lag problems than I am. On Forza 5, I don't know what the hell is going on today with my internet, so I do apologise. On Forza 5, when it lags, unlike other other games where it throws all the opponent's cars around, it kind of freezes your car momentarily and then speeds you up. Uh, when you're doing a corner, when it does that, you have a crash. So if we could only do that <laughs> on the straight bits, that would be lovely. Oh god, I was 130 miles an hour through there. That is scary. That is, yeah, that's quite scary in these cars. Uh, I'm, I really don't want to throw this away now. Can I beat Come Daniel on. at Nurburgring? That would be amazing. No! Uh, <laughs> if we, although, I'm to be fair, up. I will say a lot of this is down to the car, I think. The auto union here <laughs> is blooming fast. Uh, <laughs> we actually saw the auto union at Goodwood, didn't we? We did. I, I yes, we did. We saw the auto union. This one. It makes an awful racket in real life. It's very loud. <laughs> it's very loud. 
we were standing, what, 20 metres away when it launched off the line? Probably less than that. Maybe, yeah, probably less than that. We're standing right next to the start line. It makes a racket, and you've caught up to me because I got sideways. Oh, let me <laughs> hell. Go! Yeah, it was the just after Sir Stelly Am Moss I? went down, when, uh, went yeah. up the hill. It was just after that. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's an incredible car, some of these classic race vehicles. Um, now, Alex I'm, is half deaf. I had to put my fingers in my ears. Oh, yeah. He didn't. <laughs> How the yeah, hell? I, I should point out, I've got all sorts of hearing problems. So, I, when, when Formula 1 cars and stuff go past, it's fine. I can, I've can i got sort of inbuilt earplugs half the time. So, <laughs> I'm fine with these Whoa, cars flying past. God. I mean, they're still loud. Ow, but, Jesus. Uh, oh, I looked back to watch Daniel crash, and I've scraped the wall for the first time here. Um, <laughs> I'm not the only one to crash. God damn it. God damn it. Well, I, you're the one crashing spectacularly. I just brushed the... My car would probably still be working. I mean, you wouldn't do that with a car like this. Sorry. Ooh. Sorry. My car probably wouldn't be working anymore. <laughs> that was slight lag issue there. It was Daniel's fault. Oh, was it some lag going on? Fair I enough. I braked then. and then um, you sort of like jumped back. I was like, oh, ha, this isn't going to work. Yeah, that's not so That's not so helpful. What's going on with the bloody internet? Uh, uh, come on. Understeer. Yeah. Oh god, I'm getting oversteer going up the hills. Right, we are coming towards the end of the second lap. I really hope so. Play no. Cross. I'm going to play Oh, Daniel's playing Randy Cross as well. No. Oh, if I'd have <laughs> made that corner, I would have been in the lead. Bollocks. You probably would have been, yeah. Oh no. It's oh, all gone dear. pear shaped. It has all gone a little bit wrong for you. It's going all right for me. I'm now just being so super cautious. Just not making any silly Wah. mistakes to give you a chance. But then, of course, if Daniel's being more aggressive, he'll probably catch up by being quick. Oh, hey. That's a big curb. Oh, that's a big curb. <laughs> oh. Okay. Whoa. Oh, Whoa. 20. We're on the grass again. I've experimented. I've explored. Oh, I'm on the grass. Oh, I... Come on. Oh, I'm not taking that speed there. Is Daniel, is Daniel throwing caution to the wind back there? Yep. I think I you, might have on, this. On board, this is <laughs> insane. You should see my onboard footage at the moment. <laughs> it is, I mean, it's properly scary. Uh, I'm these driving. Cars are, these cars are stupid. Uh, we're coming up towards the straight. I want to get 200 no, out of it, but lost. I know it's not going to do it. I know I'm not going to get 200 because I'm going to have to break for the... Unless I can be super fast through here. Here we go. Let's be super quick through this corner. Right, there we go. That's a good run onto the straight. I'm pleased with that one. And now... 200 miles an hour before we get to the corner, please. Two, do you reckon you can do it? I I'll be insanely I think, I impressed. I, I think I can do 195, maybe. But uh, any more than that, I think I'll run out. And I'll, I can't take enough speed through the first corner to get 200 as it goes down the hill. So, is yeah, we're going uphill now. Come on, 190. Go flat out through the left-hander, flat out. No, I'm not going to do that. I took the, <laughs> the, the left-hander at 174 and ended up on the grass. So, ah, right. <laughs> we got about 191 out of the uh, auto union down the straight. Bloody hell. This thing is quick. This thing is very, very quick. Uh, it, absolutely terrifying to drive. Uh, but it is, uh, I, over the course of a lap, quite a bit quicker than the Maserati, I think. Uh, the Maserati, it just, just can't keep up on the straight or the acceleration Ooh. out of the corners. 831 from the Audi. Not bad, and that was with a few offs and a few eight thirty seven. So I reckon low eight minute, uh, maybe sort of eight minute tens, perhaps, uh, with a good, with a clean be, run. It would be interesting to see, yeah, with with not talking and yeah. you know pure concentration. <laughs> you see how much quicker we are. I don't know, <sighs> but there we go. That is it oh. for the Can rivalry never, between ever do these that again? two. Um, what were you on ever. about? It was great fun. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it was good. They yeah. are bonkers <laughs> to drive, and I love it. Definitely, definitely give these cars a go if you have them in Forza 5. They are amazing things to try and control. Absolutely bonkers cars. Um, size try. Yeah, probably some of the scariest vehicles you will ever drive on Forza, I would think, just because of the speed and the lack of grip. But, um, yeah, there we go. The Auto Union is quite quite considerably quicker than the Maserati yeah. around the Nürburgring. Yeah. I, at a shorter track, maybe it'd be a little bit different between them, but I still think the, out, the, the Auto Union's just got the better acceleration. And both of them, 
Like, we were expecting the Maserati to be better through the corners. It is a little bit, but not enough to make up for that power and acceleration of the Audi. So, there we go. That is it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, goodbye. Bye!